Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. How have you been? It's been a while since I guess I've had the last video out. It's been about a week. The last couple of weeks have been really busy for me. Now with tax time, starting a new job, just been really trying to optimize my rigs, my LHR cards, getting the highest hash rates out of them, and getting my other cards running stable. I have about half of my farm running on nice hash, which I love, and I have a lot more coverage, a lot of things I'm working on with that, and half of it's on pool mining. But now, at least here in the U.S., we have tax time, which is right around the corner for us. And I've been very, very busy just trying to get a lot of the numbers together, especially when you have a lot of frequent transactions with nice hash. The reporting and calculations for taxes comes really complex. I've actually started looking at some tax software. I've been looking at, I believe, Coin Tracker, which is provided free to me from Coinbase, as well as I actually purchase something which is coinly which lets me connect a lot of different wallets so it can see which coins i'm mining and to hodl versus which coins i'm mining to sell and pairing up the different buys especially with nice hash with a lot of the sales can become really complex and i've never had to do it at least not to this scale if, if you've done it and have any suggestions i'd love to hear about it so just drop a comment down below I've been very, very busy and mining still is holding up pretty good. We're seeing a lot of volatility. Prices are up and prices the last few days have been coming down. And we see a lot more cards coming available, but I'm only looking for those select cards. And today I really have some great news to you, for you. I've been looking for one card in particular and I finally got my hands on it. It's the Founders Edition, the RTX 3060 Ti. This to me is like the dream card and it's been eluding me. It's been impossible to almost get until this finally this past week. This card is a 399 card right from Best Buy. It's a full hash rate card and not having to fiddle around with any LHR. And it seems to have great potential for mining a lot of altcoins too, especially compared to some of the other cards like the A2000s or the 6600 XTs, which are great at efficiency. But this seems to uh, have a definite edge on it. I'm gonna be opening up unboxing this with you and we're gonna throw it in a mining rig, just get it mining. And let's start taking a look at some profitability numbers. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. Stick with me and let's get started. So this is finally the moment, the moment of truth. Got my brand new 3060 Ti card. I'm gonna be opening this up. Drum roll, please. Whoa, beautiful. So this is the Founders Edition RTX 3060 Ti card. It is beautiful and it actually looks even more shiny than I think the 3070s do. Uh, I see it has the custom Nvidia pin, but it's very small. It's a light card, but it almost has like a platinum or I guess a silver finish on it. There we go, RTX 3060 Ti. Finally, I have this card and I'm just so excited to be able to have it added to my Founders Cards rigs because this card is very supposedly very, very efficient as well as it gives a full hash card and is gonna give me some great hash rate. So I'm really, really excited about this. If you're new to Founders Cards, they have a custom pin on the top so you can't just plug your PCIe pins inside the box too. They have their special Nvidia connector. I would be plugging this connector right in here and I'm putting a single eight pin. So that's really easy for me to wire concerned. I only have to worry about putting it in a PCIe slot or a GPU riser and then just plugging a single eight pin into it. And that's all it takes. And I see I have uh, four, it looks like, yeah, one HDMI on the back and three DVIs out. This is great. It's, I feel like a kid at Christmas with this one. Like I actually just pulled one of my 3070s out to give a comparison. You could see this is actually a, a 3070 full hash rate card. And you could see the nice shiny finish on the 3060. It's definitely a difference. This has always been my go-to card. One of my favorite cards I've had so far because they run very, very efficient and they're budget friendly. So the 3070 is a 499 card where the 3060 is a 399 card, but it will hash Ethereum just as well as this one will from what I'm reading. To finally have this card and not have to deal with LHR, not have to deal with even the a lot of heat that you see with the 3080 and 3090 cards. This is just very, very exciting for me. I can't wait to throw this in a mining rig and see how well it hashes and look at some of the numbers. 
I've just installed my new RTX 3060 Ti into my test computer. Let me show you what it looks like. It's got a really nice matte black finish, but it has like a silver or a platinum on the edge. So although it doesn't have any bright RGB lighting, it more than makes up for in its classiness and elegance. Definitely a thumbs up on the style, but let's get into our mining. For my mining demonstration today, I'm gonna to be using NiceHash so I can just quickly test this card in Windows. I have two graphic cards in this computer. Only the second card, the newer card, the Founders Edition 3060 Ti, is gonna be the one that's enabled. The other card is disabled for our testing today, so only that single card will be showing up in the miner. And I already went into benchmarks, and I went in and I've selected, I wanna just be using NB Miner, and I've clicked on the settings icon, and the custom algorithm settings window opens. Within here, I just specified some rough values for the benchmark speed, estimate of the power usage, and right here, I specified my extra launch parameters. So dash dash CC LOCK, which is my lock core clock of at 1375, and a memory clock offset of 1150 and a fan of 70. And this already sets up the overclocks right within the miner, so now I can just start it up and we should be able to be mining right away. Okay, click start, and we're gonna get a miner open. There we go. So I have NB Miner version 40.1 running in NiceHash, and you'll see only my second card is enabled, only the Founders Edition RTX 3060 Ti. And you can see my locked core clock and memory clock offset which is passed in, and it successfully is building the DAG and it's verified it. So all within a matter of a minute, we should start be getting our first hash rate. And I'm very excited about this because there's no fumbling with calibrating. Or LH wow, look at that, 60.15 mega hash at 115 watts, giving me a 523.1 efficiency overall. To me, that's extremely great value getting a card for under $400 that's giving me 60 mega hash, no worry, no fussing with LHR, and it's great on the efficiency too, and it kind of rivals some of the other cards. I know a lot of people talk about the cards like the 6600 XT, which I also own. However, that's only giving me like low 30s on the mega hash. Although it's an efficient card, I have to take two of them to get what this can do. And another card that a lot of people talk about too is the A2000. It doesn't do as high, it's normally around 40 mega hash. Red Panda Mining actually just recently covered a video on how to get an extra 10 mega hash out of it. So you definitely want to go check out the Red Panda Mining channel to see if you have an A2000, how you may be able to get more mega hash out of it. To me, this is my dream card. It does not run hot. I'm feeling it right now. It's like, it feels almost like the side of a, like a warm cup of coffee. It's barely warm. It's quiet. It's giving me great hash rate. I don't have to worry about the heat, the noise, the power efficiency, and it's compact size. It's just a fantastic card, and I think it's great value for the money. But let's take a look at the profitability calculators. Another tool I often like to use when I wanna get a quick comparison between two cards is the NiceHash profitability calculator. It lets me put in you know, two different cards and it gives me an overall picture of how the profitability is in NiceHash, as well as it gives me some indicator of how well they can mine on other coins. So I'm just looking right now at the 3060 Ti full hash versus the NVIDIA A2000 calculated and I see it's saying $2.42 a day for the 3060 Ti, so I think it's overstating it, but versus $1.65 a day for the A2000. But more importantly, if I scroll down, I'll be able to get an indicator of how well these cards can mine different algorithms or comparison. So if I look at some of the coins that both of these cards can mine would be like Auto Lycos, which is really ergo. So my 3060 Ti is gonna give me 160 mega hash at 115 watts, but I'm only gonna get 55 mega hash at 70 watts on the A2000. So that's a big difference, you know, 160 versus 55. If I look at some other coins like Kapow, which is Raven coin, so I'm gonna get 29.3 mega hash on the 3060 Ti, but I can only do about 12 mega hash on the A2000. And last but not least too, would be if we look at Conflux, which is Octopus. On the 3060 Ti, I have 55.8 mega hash, but I'm only gonna get about 23 mega hash on the A2000. And when I was looking at these numbers, not just looking at what can Ethereum mine, because when Ethereum goes proof of stake or an Ethereum Classic can't pick up the slack for it, I'm gonna be having to mine some of these other altcoins. So I wanna at least get some indicator how profitable they would be. In this, as well as even nice is showing, the 3060 Ti is the clear winner. I'm not getting accurate numbers on uh, the nice hash profitability calculator out of the 6600, but let's flip it all over to what to mine. 
Now on my screen, I have what to mine open for all three cards I want to compare. So I have my 3060 Ti full hash card, NVIDIA A2000, six gigabyte, and RX 6600 XT. You can clearly see the differences in the hash rate of the different uh, cards doing on different algorithms. So I'm seeing my 3060 Ti is giving me 160 mega hash at 130 watts versus the A2000 is only 100 mega hash at 80. And I'm seeing 62 mega hash at 80 watts on the 6600 XT. If I look at other profitable coins, maybe like Ravencoin, so I say 27 mega hash on the 3060 Ti, but I'm only getting 15 mega hash on the A2000. And on the 6600, it would be 15 mega hash. Again, these cards are also very good at mining and they're very efficient, but I really personally don't think they can compare to the additional power I'm getting out of the 3060 Ti. Although these may be very efficient on the electricity or the energy side, you know, having that extra power to be able to get more mining in, and especially not having to worry about density, especially if you only have a few free slots, for me to put a full nother rig up without any graphic cards, the cost is about a thousand dollars, give or take a couple of hundred dollars. So if I want to put up another six card rig, it's another thousand dollars divided by six cards, it's going to add to the cost overall. So I don't want to have to have a hundred cards to do the job that maybe 50 cards can do, or in some cases, maybe I'd rather have two cards rather than having to manage four or five. It makes it a lot easier. But we could see this consistent across the board, even if I look down like Zell Hash. So the 3060 Ti is giving me 54 at 190 watts, as the A2000 is only giving me 26.5. So that's less than half at 80 watts. Although it's very efficient, I'm getting a lot lower on my hash rate. AMD 6600 is giving me 27.5 at 120 watts. So although it's giving a little higher on the hash rate, it's actually less efficient than the A2000 is. And you can you should look at this, get an idea of the different coins, pull up things like what to mine, look at a comparison between maybe not just these two cards. If there's other cards you're interested in, look to make sure you have a good plan B in the event that uh, Ethereum turns proof of stake, that you'll at least be able to mine or at least have some expectation of what you're mining, profitability, your revenue, or even if you haven't RRI'd yet, how long it may take if you have to start mining this. But we don't know what's going to happen with proof of stake or when it's going to happen. It's just, you know, take as many steps as you can proactively to get an indicator of what your plan B coins to mine are. And I think that that'll put you in a much safer position going forward. At least that's how I look at it. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just my own opinion. Overall though too, I'm just really happy with this card. The numbers are great on the 3060 Ti. And if you can get it at this MSRP price of $399.99, for my needs, I found it's a fantastic deal. And this card just mines great. The heat is very, very low. The energy efficiency is very, very high. And it hashes fantastic. And it just runs right out of the box. You know, put a few overclocks on it. And you see within a minute, I was at 60 mega hash. at only at about 115 watts at about a 525 efficiency. Plus, you can mine all those other altcoins, as we've just shown, very efficiently as well well. So that about wraps it up for this card. It seems like it really has everything. It has power efficiency. It's a full hash rate card. It doesn't generate a lot of heat. And its size and form factor is really, really compact, as well as it's a beautiful card. So it's, you know, a five-star card in my opinion. And I'm definitely going to grab another one if I can get my hands on it, especially at this price of $399 for a full hash rate 3060. That's going to give me these type of mining revenues and be able to, able to mine some of the altcoins very profitably too. It's back to, uh, I guess, the grind with the busy week, finishing up my taxes. I hope you get your taxes and stuff done too. And again, if you have any tips or suggestions too on calculating them, doing them, definitely drop a comment down below. I'd love to read about it as well as some of our other viewers on our channel. So that pretty much wraps it up for me and this new card. I definitely love it. And I would definitely give you two thumbs up to get one if you can, especially at this price. So until next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining.